Hello people, wherever you're watching this video from, this is uh, Sichamba Jacob. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos and if you're enjoying my videos, keep on commenting, liking and uh, advise where necessary. Okay, so uh, in this video, we we'll try to discuss uh, about uh, uh, this mensuration exam question. Okay, this is an exam question. And um, we've been given uh, or we've been asked to find volume of, uh, if, uh, of a first term. This is a first term, okay? So how do you basically find the volume of a first term? It's, uh, it's really very simple, or though some of you may be thinking it's uh, something that is difficult, but I'll assure you or I'm assuring you that uh, this is a very simple uh, uh, question. And I'll try to put it in a way that you'll be able to understand so when you've been asked to find the volume of a first term, okay, uh, depend, it depends if they've given you a cone or a pyramid, like the way it is here. This pyramid has been chopped. It's, um, the procedure is almost the same. So this is how you must be doing it. You say, okay, here, the height from here to here is what? It's uh, nine centimeters, okay? It's nine centimeters. And uh, here... We don't know the part which has been cut. We don't know. So, so just put X like that. Okay. So we will try to find the height of uh, what has been cut. So we we'll say, okay, uh, from here, like from here to where it's ending here, where the, the pyramid is ending. Okay. Uh, the height will be 9 plus X like this. Okay. So that's 9 plus X. This is a pyramid, uh, the full pyramid, the, the one that has been not cut. The height will be this one. And the height for the part which has been cut is see, this one. So now we will say we want to know the value of x. So we will say x over 4. Do you know why I've written this 4? It's because um, the height of what has been cut, we don't know it's x. But the base where it has been cut here. It's 4 centimeters. So it will be x over 4, which is equal to the height of what has been, uh, the entire, not what has been cut, but the entire pyramid will be 9 plus x over the base of the entire pyramid, which is uh, 10. Okay? All right. So now from here, you can solve for x. You cross multiply. So it will be 10x is equal to 4 9 there plus x here 10x is equal to 36 plus 4x you group the like terms so you have something like this here to be 6x such that uh, uh, your x will just be equal to 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 4 okay i mean to 6 sorry to 6 this is 6 centimeters so the value of x here is what so say x is equals to six and here the x is uh, six meaning the pyramid before it was cut it was what what was the height so the height of the big pyramid the 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 fourth or the finished pyramid was um was 15 okay and the height of what has been cut is what is a uh, six so we need these two it's very important so let me just go through a bit. Here they have said it's a square pyramid. So meaning this side, this side, this side, this side are equal. This is a square base. And this one also, it's a square right here. So if this is 4 centimeters, this is 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and 4 centimeters. So uh, the first thing must be to find the height of what has been cut. So we don't know the part which has been cut right here. So now, since we don't know that height of the thing that has been cut, we'll just put X, okay? So this is the X. I'm just assuming that uh, the part which has been cut, it's up to here, somewhere here. That's why I've put X here. And uh, now, the procedure, or now I can go know the value of X, will be I get the given height or I would say the, the height of the, the first term from here to here, it's 9 centimeters. From here to here, they've given us this 9 centimeters. So I'll write that 9 right here to show that this is for the first term. The, the first term. Now for the finished pyramid, 
it's supposed to be 9 plus the x, this x right here. So now I have to find the value of x using this procedure. So to find the value of x, I need to get one side of the, 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 the pyramid where it has been cut, which is 4 centimeters over the height of the pyramid. In short, we are trying to compare using similarities here. And uh, also, I'll come to the, the, the bigger pyramid here. So for the bigger pyramid or the finished pyramid, the height will be from here to where it has been cut. I mean, to where it ended, not where it has been cut. So for me to find that, I'll say 9 because I've been given the height of the pyramid uh, plus the x here. So this is the height of uh, the finished uh, pyramid. So I have to find now the value of uh, x. So how do you find the value of x? using the procedure, which is right here. So the value of x is 6 centimeters. And this 6 centimeters is uh, the height of uh, the part which has been cut. So I've put, this is data, it's very important. Okay, so now we now have to find the, the volume, okay? The volume of the first term. So how do we find the volume of the first term? Let me do this. So the formula for finding volume of the first term will be like this. 1 over 3 L squared, capital L squared, H minus small letter L squared and uh, not B here, H. Okay. So we know that uh, whenever you're finding volume of uh, a pyramid or, or, or a cone, we, we start with 1 over 3 and then we find area of the base times height. So this is the procedure, it's the same. So here, this L squared means the length squared because these sides are equal. This is a square base. If it was a, if it was a rectangle base, I would have said L times B. But since it's a, it's a square, I would just say L squared capital L. This capital L is for the bigger base. And the H here is a bigger height, okay? Small letter L is the area of uh, this this part which has been which has been cut or the position at which the pyramid has been cut. So we'll say one over three. Okay, one over three. L the the, the length here. Okay, it's ten centimeter squared. The H there is I'll say times fifteen. This is fifteen minus. Small letter L is 4 squared there times the small h, which is 6. So now I can work out things here. It will be 115, 1000, sorry, 1500 minus 96. Hopefully you're getting the same when you work out on your calculator. Let me just confirm on my calculator. So I'll say 1, uh, 9, sorry, uh, sorry, 110, uh, that's 10, 10 squared times 15, which is uh, 1,500. And then when we say 4 squared times uh, 6, it's giving me 96. So I say 96 uh, minus 1,500, which is uh, 1,000. So we have uh, 1 over 3 here, uh, or we'll just say times, because inside the brackets we're getting 1,404, uh, okay? So meaning it will be 1,404 over a 3, this 3. When you divide by 3, what are you getting? Our volume is 468 centimeter cubed. So this is the, our answer. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you have not understood, keep on watching. F repeat. This video will be there forever on YouTube. Keep on watching. And in case you have somebody who would like to do online tuitions with us, you'll be writing your GCE and you need help. The number to contact me on is right here. Let me write the number that you can WhatsApp me and get in touch with me for online tuitions. It's plus 26096917507010. WhatsApp this number. And I'll be able, I will be able to help you pass your exams through our online tuitions. Thank you and bye-bye.